Okay then, so here we go. Uh, on this on this um, update thing where we've been editing the categories is um, so far we've got if we click on edit category we get a list of categories and we click on one it then populates this form. It occurs to me that if someone makes a mistake and they press back and choose jackets this um, session is clearly not resetting. So what I've got to do is just in my code I made a slight mistake. You can see here on admin panel last time we put this here on the admin panel, the unsetting the session. I'm just going to remove that and on the edit category select page I'm just going to put that uh, somewhere at the top. It doesn't really matter where I put it. Put it there. Okay. And um, what that should do is break. <laughs> awesome. What have I done? Oh, I say extra PHP tags. Silly me. That'll teach me to copy and paste. Um, here we go. So if I just quickly go edit category and choose jackets, there's jackets. If I go back, that should unset that session. And now I get skirts. Great. That's much better. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So just reverting or referring to our sitemap. We're now going to take what we had in that form there and we're going to send it through to our confirmation page and all going well, then update the category in the database. So here we are in Notepad. Here we go. The edit category form we created, you notice, is going to submit to a page called edit category confirm. So we need to create that. I'm just going to take my edit category select page, just go file save as. And I'm just going to change that to edit category confirm. Now I don't want to unset that session, so remove that. Uh, I don't actually need to run a query, so we can remove that code. And in fact, I don't even need that down the bottom. I basically did the save as just to save me retyping all this stuff at the top. Now, um, what we're going to do is when this form for my edit category page has been posted through, we're actually going to reset the session. So our session called edit category, which is multi-dimensional, and we're going to change the name value. We're going to change that to whatever gets posted through from that form. So if we do make a change, it actually then overwrites whatever already was in that session. That way then if we hit back and go back to the previous page, um, this is um, the category thing there, edit category name is already set, so we don't rerun this query, but we do display it in the form. <clears throat> so we just need to echo this, and we say, um, what can we put? Um, updated category name, <coughs> excuse me, I'll just echo out the value of that session. Obviously, we have to give them the option of confirming. Um, the oops, go back, and I guess back to the admin panel. Now I'll just do these in order of easiness. <laughs> um, the back to admin panel is going to go to the index page, which equals admin. Write that in an A tag. Um, the go back page should take us back to the edit category page. So index.php and the page is edit category. Now because we're using sessions we don't have to send anything in the get method in the get array at all. And the confirmation page is going to go through to our edit category update. Except that we need to go to the index page, my verb. page equals edit category update. Okay, Whew, lots of links. So let's just double check that this is working now. So here we are on the edit category page. Say we say it's actually just going to be skirt singular when I click on update. Updated category name is skirt. If I say oops, go back, 
um, it doesn't like this. So what's not liking there? Line eight. What have I done wrong? Ah, right. You can see there I set that um, session there to be equal to the, the get there. Um, obviously, if that's not set or already been set, um, so I need a little if statement. Now this is on the edit category page. My bad. Um, if the get method is set, in other words, this is the first time we've really come to this page because it'll be coming from the edit um, select. Oops. Then we're going to do that. So we're only going to set this session um, if category ID is is set. If it's not set, then we're we don't need to set this session because it's already been set the first time we come here. And if that doesn't make any sense, allow me to walk through. When we go edit category and I click on dresses, it's the first time we've come through, so it's going to set the session to having a category ID of two. So when I update this, there's dresses still. I say oops, go back. It's still because it um the session is active, it doesn't need the information up here in the URL anymore. Alright. Um, and back to admin panel. Works fantastically, this skirts. Great. So all that remains for us now to do is the confirmation part. Right. So here we go. The um, edit category confirm page, I guess. Doesn't really matter which one I run. Oh no, you know what? Save myself some time. I'm going to grab the where is it? The edit category select page, and I'm just going to save that one as edit category update. There we go. Now um, this is going to be running a query, so I'm just going to. But you can see I've got the the unset. I actually want to unset this query, this session as well, but only after we've run our query. And the query in here is going to be, we're going to update um, the category table, and we're going to set the name to equal whatever is in that session. So um, I need to concatenate that on. So there's my full stop session. Gosh, I wish I hadn't given it such a long name. Okay, so that's going to set the name there. But remember, I only want to do that for one particular category. If I ran that query right now, every single category in the table would be set to that name, which is not ideal. So I'm just going to reconcatenate on and then filter. So I go where category ID equals, and then again, stop the query, and we're going to concatenate on the other session variable from the edit category session, which is category ID, like so. So that should only update this one here, the one with the correct category ID. Now that's going to run the query. I don't need an associative array because I'm not running a select. So I can remove that line. And so that should run the query and update it. Um, and down here in our content, just a little message saying category successfully updated. Some such message, people like to see this stuff. And then um, a link that's going to go back to the admin panel, so index.php and going back to the admin page back to the admin panel ok, so save that and we'll give that a go here we are so when I click on confirm skirt, apparently that's successful, if we go back to admin um, apparently that did not work because you can still see we've got skirts there so what has happened. Let's look in our database and browse that. Hmm, did I make a mistake there? What have I done? Let's change this dramatically. Right, so here's a good chance to do some debugging. Um, on our edit cat page, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to echo that variable. So edit cat underscore SQL. Just run that. So I'm just going to change it to skirt again. When I confirm, update category, set name equals skirt. Right, there's your problem. Um, God, I always forget this. You notice we are setting the name to 
something that actually needs to be string, that is text. So that really should be um, wrapped in apostrophes. My bad. So in here, I'll just remove that debug first. Um, you can see where I say set name equals. I need to wrap that whole thing there in apostrophes. So there's an apostrophe before I stop the query and then right after it. So that will wrap around that name. So we'll save that. Let's go back here. Oops, go back again. Yeah, so if I change that just to skirt singular, here it is, confirm. And this time you can see it's been changed to skirt and I can just double check that in my database. There it is, skirt. Uh, so that's a silly idea. It does need to be skirts because I always need things just to be <laughs> absolutely perfect. Uh, there we are, skirts. So our updating seems to be working. So right now we can now add, delete or edit categories to our database. So the next step now is obviously going to be adding, deleting and editing stock items that belong to those categories. Um, so we'll get into that next time. See you then.